you, Madam Chair. Dear Mr. High Representative, JCPOA is unmatched diplomatic achievement of the European Union, but it seems to be even bigger challenge to maintain it. The European Union has committed itself to its arrival and full implementation. As some would add, the deal is still alive, but could be in a better health condition. Hopefully, the United States will soon enough return to deal and towards the restoration of multilateralism in general, and Iran will also uphold its commitments as stated in the treaty. Our support to the nuclear deal, however, does not mean that we should be shy, calling on Iran for its role in conflicts in Syria and Yemen, its action in the Strait of Hormuz and attacks on U.S. troops in Iraq. We are mostly definitely not indifferent towards the situation of human rights in Iran, which is appalling. A Sakharov Prize awardee, Nasrin Sutodet, recently was a hunger strike, and the latest case of execution of David Afkari deserves our strongest condemnation. A number of dual EU Iranian citizens are still unjustly detained in Iran. We support as Iran Task Force and its balanced, comprehensive approach. But today, we have to make it clear that if Iran wants continued European Union engagement, it needs to dramatically improve its human rights record. Thank you.